Hardwood slabs for furniture. What I look for and what I avoid. Today I'm at my local sawmill here in New Jersey and I'm looking for some walnut for some upcoming commissions. After breathing in that fresh lumber smell and perusing the inventory, I find what I'm looking for. Now the first thing I check is moisture content. I want somewhere between 10 to 14 percent as it will drop to 8 to 10 percent once it acclimates in my shop. And since I will cut off the live edges on slabs, I steer clear of significant hooks or excessive sapwood which would be wasted when trimmed for straight edges. Now for furniture, I love straight grain as you can see here. Other lumber defects I try to avoid are gnarly knots, checks, or egregious cracks that indicate hidden tension and will cause issues later on. And when working with large, heavy slabs, it's always good to have high quality, safety toe footwear that is comfortable and will protect your feet. And with cold weather on the way, these vicious boots from Danner will also keep your feet warm and dry. And once I've picked up today's haul, we settle up, load up the truck, and head back to the shop.